Hello everyone, what is up? I'm back with another Doki Doki video today. We're gonna be starting the Yuri route this time. I was gonna do it last time, but I ran out of time. I was gonna do it way earlier today, but I didn't have time. And it's like 11.32, so... Yeah, I'm also using a new recording software, so hopefully things don't go wrong and it looks fine still. Um, new game. <clears throat> hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she is totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sarah, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but just the kind it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to watch a school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversee more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's the one who chased after me like this, I almost would better off running away. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and the Siri catch up to me. <laughs> I ever slept again! But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you said like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Griffin. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But did you wait? But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it yet to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the streets, we as we draw near the streets, becoming increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, your friend, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. And one of our many conversations where I just missively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sarah likes to worry a little too much about me. When I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I was thinking about. I'm. Um, yeah. I was talking about how worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any so or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at, at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs that makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me that you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I prom I'll promise you that. Yeah! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself revent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to erase her. Yeah, ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an awesome motivation. Club Siri wants me to check out some clubs. I guess they had no choice for the start the anime club. Hello, Siri. Sarah so must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you were just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. <clears throat> Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You only need to wait for up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, well, you know, know what? Well, you can come to my club. Sorry. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Yeah, Griffin doesn't like your club. Eh, meanie. Sari is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure <clears throat> she only did it because she thought it'd be fun to help start a new club. Since she was first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. 
That said, my interest in nature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring in a new member. And that Suki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep! I can't tell if Sarah is really that much of an air or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I thought I had a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for cupcakes. But that's it! I'm not coming back, I'm not coming back. I'm getting a cupcake, and then I'm leaving this stupid club. Okay? Griffin don't like this show. Griffin likes to make YouTube videos. Subscribe. Yes, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Well, that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. You sell your soul, and then you get cup free cupcake, man. <laughs> your soul didn't even do anything. I'm kidding. If you sell your soul, you're gonna die at 28. <laughs> I just really follow Siri across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I really visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Siri is full of, ener full of, yeah, Siri is full of energy swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. <clears throat> and I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pressure. It's a bleh, bleh. It's a pleasure meeting you. Siri always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Griffin, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. So sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sad attitude whose name is apparently not Suki is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes you think she's probably a first year. <clears throat> she's also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear and then turns back toward the other girls. I mean, this is not Suki, always swamp energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. But don't say things like that. <laughs> Yuri here appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Atsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? <laughs> That's right! It's great to see you again, Griffin. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we were always talked, we were in the same class last year. Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. <laughs> Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me is such a genuinely I mean, yeah, I, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little. Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, your friend. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. And how about I make some tea as well? They got a few desks arranged to form a table. And Siri mentioned it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica, and one, then one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, he can see next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, a tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil. Off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated look like little kitty cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea that you were so good at baking that soupy. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sarah grabs one first, then Monica I follow. It's delicious! Sarah talks their mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my in my fingers, thinking for the best angle to see take a bite. Now Suki is quiet. I can't help but notice her. Suki glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. Now I see a sweet and full flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thanking me? It's not like I. Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you anything? Oh, what's happening? 
that's a little. I haven't heard her say. I haven't heard. Have I heard this before? So I think the more you play the game, the more it does that. Well, maybe, but not not for you, you you dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's word logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri turns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You give a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher just gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, th that's not. Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... I believe you. Well, the tea, well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri really faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow. Oh, she's the rock from, um, she's the rock. <laughs> and smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um. I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that it's practically dragged here by Siri. Well, I haven't joined any clubs, and Siri seems really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. I'll make sure you feel right at home. <laughs> As president of the Witcher Club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You couldn't probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Uh huh. Well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. I just saw a glitch for a second. And if it encourages others to get into the into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica Roy is a great leader. He also nods in agreement. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You can put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. That's true, we gotta work hard on that. But it makes school events at the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really go to this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. You're in. I'm the. I'm all sh such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica, Monica, Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. I mean, that's why they're also delighted of the idea of a new member joining. No, I still don't know if I can keep up with the level of enthusiasm about nature. So, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh. And considering how well I've read these past years, I don't really have a good a way of answering that. Manga? I'm gonna put it in myself half joking. That's to use head suddenly and perks up. Looks like she wants to say something and she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri chooses the room for teacup with her finger. I fear it's usually now as a boot deep in complex fantasy worlds. The love of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally as impressive. Yuri goes on equally passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but I was oblivious to the way her eyes light up and that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Shows of deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. 
isn't that amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of immigration to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I read I, I read a horror book. I read. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice this. Either I'm dumb at pronouncing words or this is just a dumb mistake. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, I read a horror book once. It's red. I just saw a graph, something I can relate to at the minimal level. Uh, this, at this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. I want a rock! Really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes you to another world, then I can't really put it down. Honestly? I can actually relate to you in that. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh! I hate horror. Oh, why is that? No, oh, I just. Let's see, his eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind! That's right, you usually write about cute things, don't you, not see key? What? Look at the idea! With a piece of scrap here behind that's called meeting. And looked like you were working on a problem. Board. Don't sit alone! And give that back! <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just cute as you are. Sarah so slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. That's because she averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. <laughs> I'm not a very confident writer yet. I understand how that Suki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The, tr the truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your readers Exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess that's the same for Yuri. I want to read everyone's poems. We sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri will go physically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we should all share them with each other. That way everyone's even. Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it! Of course, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Yeah, bond for another us. Bond, seal and repair! Isn't that right, Griffin? Monica smiles and warmly at me once again. Hold on! Hold up, wait a minute! There's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back on the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with this on my mind the whole entire time. I never said that I would join this club! So I'm mean, convinced to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at. Um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls start back in my just eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. Griffin, y you all? I'm defenseless against these girls. Yeah, I should probably do something about it. I should probably just say yes to whatever they say, otherwise, I might get punished for being a naughty boy. How am I supposed to clear a decision when it's like this? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do it. I've been not even. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop being aware about that. That is, uh, 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 uh. that is if writing poems is a price that I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right! Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sarah so wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Get rid of this one. H hey! 
He really did scare me for a moment. If we really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. And that makes it official. Welcome to the Witcher Club. Aw, oh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that we really can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it to the next club meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Griffin, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I run and press the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety of walking up inside me. I'm so nervous. I don't want to mess this up. This is my one shot at getting a girlfriend. I can't miss a shot to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. I'm gonna lose myself. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey. Anyway, meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as you're in and see you clean up their food. Hey, girlfriend, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori, and that's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always did after school for clubs. Sure. Might as well. Yeah! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back between the four, the four girls. Siri, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. When their powers combined, they are able to steal my heart. They're going to jail for, uh, for a theft for stealing my heart. Am I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Probably not. Who cares? If there's girls there, I want to be there. Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. Alright. Honestly, to make the most of my sense, I'm sure good fortune will find me. Yeah, the good you put out into the world always has a way of coming back to you. Ow. I'll just need to make the most of my Yeah, I already read that. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick what you think your favorite club member will like. Sling good might happen with whoever you like your poem the most. <laughs> Sling good might happen? Mm. Yeah, I think I know what that means. That means I'm gonna be doing some nice stuff with them. You know what I mean? Suicide. Yeah! Probably, uh. Uh. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Dark. What the? Explode. Not rain cloud. Whatever that word was. Um, crimson. Depression. Anxiety. Forgive. Uh, 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 uh. Wrath. Yes! Okay. A, 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 I'm on vacation every single day because I'm not occupation. Uh, uh. Yeah, okay. Frightening. Inferno. Yes, let's go! Immigration. M, L, N, A, G, S. I thought it's immigration. Imagine imagination. Uh, probably a fan of oh, uncontrollable. Uh not lipstick tenny vivis. Playground is two separate words, I think. <laughs> Probably a firefly. Motherfuck. No, it's probably uh, a disaster. Uh, with fucking hell, mate. I'm can't. Oh, Yuri becomes uncanny meme. I like it. Ah 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 ah! Horror. Let's go. Hi, your girlfriend. Okay, I think I'm gonna end off just because it's really late and I don't have a lot of time. So, let's go to save. Before I leave, thank you so, so much for watching. And stay happy through the whole series, I still got way more coming. Um, this will probably be one of my last videos for a while because I gotta really start doing some stuff. 
I will still upload very small videos on Roblox, but I won't upload, probably, probably won't upload any more Doki videos until like next Friday, and maybe even until like the, almost the like two, like a week, two weeks from now. I do have a nice vlog coming up. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, actually, I'll keep it a secret because the guy that I might, that I'm not talking about, he might get angry at me. But I do have a video tomorrow. We're collabing with Supreme Gamer um, on YouTube. He bought some stuff, and he said he wants me to come over and we can make a video on it. So I'll probably be collabing with him tomorrow, making a video on that. And I also have another video coming out. I'll probably try to upload it tonight about. I'm a person that I can't want to say because they'll probably get mad if they figure out. And that's why I'm gonna keep it a secret. Let's look up with the video though, because who cares? Um, that's about all I have. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe. It would really help me out. And if you don't want to do that, that's fine. But please at least like share my videos so the more people that can get out, the more people I can have watch my videos. And it would be a really nice dream come true to have a good amount of subscribers on YouTube. I'm gonna want, and eventually soon I'm gonna start. I'll probably do this like in April for for break. I'm going to do a stream, separate donation link, and all the proceeds in that stream that anyone donates is gonna go straight to Ukraine to help them out because um because all the stuff they have in there. So, you know what, actually, leave a like if you want to help Ukraine, and subscribe if you think that what Russia's doing to Ukraine is stupid. Anyways, that's it for now. Let me go ahead and turn off recording. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.